Greetings content creators, this is Domingo with you today, hope you're doing fantastic, and today we are going to be looking at a site called ClipChamp. Now, I recently discovered this two days ago, and I have used it to record videos, but I haven't saved any videos yet here, but it is an amazing experience so far. And I have used it just to test it out, and we're just going to go through a tutorial right now. And if you are not a subscriber yet, click on subscribe, and I make videos semi-weekly, so be sure to check out new videos each time. And if you have a request for a tutorial, leave it in the comments below, and I'll be sure to get it as soon as possible. So here is ClipChamp. It is a site where you can create your own videos with various templates. Now, I'm using the free version right now. You can get a free account right now. The link is in the description below so that you can start using ClipChamp. And then you can also install it on your computer. And it's an app. So there is the app right here. So it's the same as the browser version, but we're just gonna go through the browser version just to start. So we're gonna get started right here. And then you have your screen and it shows you to start with a template. And it has free forever, TikTok, ISO Life, Takeaway Restaurant, Online Fitness, Video Chat. It shows a lot of templates to start. So let's say we're just going to find a YouTube background. So YouTube content. Now it allows you to go through each of the various YouTube content templates that you see here and it gets you started with something. So this is a gaming template here that you can see. So there's game footage and that sort of thing. And then if you like cooking, you can do a cooking video template and there's a vlog template. So let's start with the vlog video template. And then it gives you the 43 second option with a 16 by nine ratio. And then there's use this template if you want to get started with it. And then it also shows on the bottom the other templates that we see. So let's do the vlog intro to start. And then we're gonna go use this template. And then it's just gonna load up into the create editor. So once you see all the assets here download, as you can see the purple hue here, it'll download all the assets because we're gonna use these assets as an example of what you can do with ClipChamp. And I'm using the free account. You can upgrade to a more premium account which allows you to record in full 720p. With the free account, I learned that you can only record up to 480p. But if you have editing software, you don't necessarily have to use this, but this is great for people that want just something browser-based and just quick and easy to use. And the great thing about it is you can add media and record with your webcam, which is really nice here. We're just going to demonstrate that after everything loads here. So we're just going to wait until everything finishes up. So it just plays it back here and it just assembles everything. And then there is the title. And there we go. So that is a general idea of what it can do. So it adds, you can add music here, you can add video, and you can edit all the properties here. It gives you the option to adjust the properties of your media and create the exact kind of video. You can create awesome layouts, picture in picture, to create interesting layouts for your videos, which we will get to in just a moment. And the templates give you assets to use, but you can also use your own. Like I said, the ones with the stars here are for business platinum plans here. So we don't necessarily have to have all this there. You can just click on the garbage cans to get rid of them. So we're just going to get rid of all these. Okay, and then we're gonna keep the free ones here. And then, there we go, yeah, we don't need these. So this is an option of deleting clips if you don't like what you see there. And then we're just gonna click yes to delete. And then this is free. And then the title here is free as well. And you can drag your titling however you like. So we're just gonna use this as just a sample intro. All right, so that way we've just edited out everything. And now we're gonna go into what's add media. And then you can go and record the screen. You can record an AI voiceover and record a webcam. So you can also browse files on your computer and you can also do it from your phone. That's really cool. And then it allows you to use the phone's camera to scan and open the website and select your media. That is really nice. We're gonna do that later on. I haven't used that feature yet. So we're gonna go and go record webcam. And so it'll detect your webcam and microphone like you see here, 
and then we're just going to do a quick recording and it gives you up to 30 minutes of recording so that's pretty cool so this is in 480p so if you want to upgrade to further 720p or 1080p you'd have to subscribe to a plan so we're just going to do a quick recording here three two one hello everybody this is domingo with you today hope you're doing fantastic welcome back to my channel blah 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 and then you stop recording and then you just go to add to project and it downloads as a wem file and then it prepares the media here and then you can drag it and drop into the timeline so all so the media that you just recorded appears in the timeline it's really nice and then you can drag it wherever you like and i think enable snapping there we go so you have your title your video and your music and then what you can do I think you can go and split it by pressing S to split the audio that's right and then you can delete it it's just like a very similar version of Camtasia Studio or Sony Vegas editor if you are familiar with that software so let's just move elements here so that it gives you an idea of what can be done so we're just gonna move the element right here and then it also gives you the option to shrink the element like this and then it gives you a professional looking vlog intro here we go so that's an example of clipping splitting importing media and you can also import music as well like here so you can go browse files and then you go into let's say your videos and then you can go back to this PC and then you can go to music and then you can add a music file and then you just simply click open and then it imports the file right here so it also gives you a preview when you hover your mouse over it which is really nice and then it also works for the video it gives you a little animation there so you can now drag and drop your audio into here and then snap it here and then you can see what it's like now so that's how it works and then you can go here click on your audio you can press the split button or you can just press s on your keyboard so that is just an example of recording a video adding audio doing it from a template editing and going from there and i think you can also stretch the timeline out here i think yes zoom in so you can zoom in on the timeline for more precise edits and then there's also a fit to screen option and then we're going to zoom out so that you can zoom out the timeline and then there's also stock footage that you can get here and there's like green screen and there's stuff that's free forever so this is the free stuff that you can use for your projects as you can see the free is highlighted on the top right there so this is all stock footage that you can use for free there you can also use audio you can use a giphy and then you can close it so we're just going to close it for now we're going to go back to our editor and the great thing is is that you never lose your place here which is really nice so it automatically saves and it also has your menu options here and then create a video which we're already doing and i'm using the basic account to start out and then you can just sign out and then when you leave here it'll also save your projects so we're going to also go into the text overlay so that you can put in your text so what you do is you press on the add button here to add to the timeline and then there's your text there so then what you do is you go to the text and then you can click on it to edit it so let's just click on it we're going to click text and then here we can type our word we're just going to type subscribe to start subscribe whatever there subscribe and then you can select the font and it has quite a few fonts that you can use here these are mostly the stock fonts but i think you can also use fonts from your computer but this this is the free version so i think this is what you get normally so we're going to do bibus new and then you can go to transform you can adjust the position of the text and the size there we go and then you can also change the color 
and there we go. So we've just changed the position, the size, and the color of our text. And you can also free transform it however you like. Actually, no, you cannot. So I just tried that. Anyways, so you have a lot of other fonts and styles that you can use on the side. Two lines, generate subtitles, special text. There's also like a sale text, then a countdown timer and a quote, and intro and outros. Okay, intro and outros. So let's just do this quickly. Let's put in an intro and outro. So let's do this, drag it in. There we go. So we're just going to put our headline here. Just going to move it in proper. There we go. So then what you do is it'll, let's just exit out of this. And then you can also edit your headlines. So from here, I think you can double click on it, double click on this, and then you can go text. So you can go Domingo, and then you can also enter here your YouTube link. And then you can change the font however you like. So we're going to stick with the Bib is new, Bib is new, and then we're going to upload our own logo. So let's just go here, pictures, and the tried and true logo here. So there's our logo. There we go. I'm going to add that in there. And then you can also change the colors. So the background color will be the purple that I normally use. And you can also use the freehand color tool. There we go. And then you can change the text color to white or black, wherever you like. And then yeah and then the plan for this is that it's watermark so it shows a watermark here when you use it but that's okay I mean if you don't mind the watermark then it's it's fine but this gives you the option to like use free custom outros so here we go so that's my first so that's the outro I added for that and then it uses a custom animation so that's really cool and then you can also do an overlay here so it overlays certain components. So we're just going to go back here. And then we're just going to do, let's do a funky overlay to start. Let's, let's, try, let's try it over here. So we're just going to play it back and see how that looks. So it went a little fast here, but we can extend it a bit. Let's play that again. All right, so that's really cool. And I think you can add transitions. Yes, there's a transitions tool. So there's a lot of different overlays. There's progress bar, mirror, and a lot. There's a lot here. That's really nice. And then there's also backgrounds where you can add backgrounds. So this is mostly white or solid color backgrounds or black. And then we're going to do transitions. So we're going to add our transitions with our video. So we're just going to click and drag here and add it to our video. Okay, and you can also adjust the properties of a clip. So you can go layout, picture in picture, but that's premium, transform, auto fit, crop to fill. You can flip it like this. And then there's also the opacity. And then you can rotate it. So that's if you have like phone footage, you can rotate that. And then there's also filters. And then we're gonna set increased filter here. Color balance. saturation, temperature, contrast. And then you can also set a fade in or fade out. And then speed, so we can go fast or normal. Then you can do audio. You can also separate the audio from the clip, which is really cool. So we're just gonna delete that section and then you can also press Control Z to undo that. And then there's also a help function there. So if you're not sure what to do, it'll take you to a help menu and you can ask for anything. And you can close it. So let's say you're finished everything and then you go to export. And then it says here, project uses premium features and not included in the plan is the logo. 
upgrade your plan or download a 480p demo to export with these features. So it asks you to upgrade the plan. So we're going to just go and delete this and then we'll go back to our logo and then we'll delete that. So those are the limitations. The logo is part of the premium project per the premium plans. So you're very limited in what you can create, but if you already have an idea of what you want to do, then it's no big deal. So now you're going to go into export and then it gives you the option to export in the formats. Now, like I said, 1080p and up, you have to pay for. So you have to subscribe to a plan. And then the compression is the regular default file size where you can go maximum, which again is premium. And this is 480p, and this is 720, and that's 10 full 1080. So that's, that's the thing for these files. And these are mostly good for demos. And then this is for social media and then for video streaming sites such as YouTube and Vimeo. So, and it also allows you to export to a GIF and the resolution can be up to 240p. So we're just gonna go and export it in 480p just as an example. And then it'll go through the whole exporting process and it says here to stay in the clip champ tab for faster export. So it allows you to stay here then it asks you to rate for something. I'm just going to give this. It's fine. And then we're just going to go done. So then once everything is exported, you can also go and upload it to a YouTube channel. So you can go send it to me. And then there is a newsletter that it sends you to. So then what you can also do is you can go download video, which you've done save to Dropbox to connect, and then you can also upload it straight to YouTube. So we're just going to authorize an account. So let's say we're gonna use uh, this channel. And then we'll go, actually we'll go cancel. So then you go upload to YouTube. And then we're just going to go to my brand channel. And then you can go allow and then what it'll do is it will upload the video straight to YouTube, which is only a nine second clip. And then it allows you to view the video. So you can go straight to the channel and then the video will process and it'll be set to private here. So it won't be seen to the public, but that is generally how you can make a video on ClipChamp, save it, do transitions and also various exports, export the video, and upload it straight to YouTube. So there is that tutorial. And if you have any more questions or if you want me to do any more features, leave me a comment below and I'll be sure to help you with that. So thank you very much for watching and have a great day.